What do you think of the parents that kick their kids out as soon as they have turned 18 years old? Brother was out before 18 and I was out at 18, and my dad didn't even have a funeral. Should tell you about all you need to know about parents who kick their kids out ASAP. They're not Italian that's for sure. Here in Italy, when the child is finally ready to leave the house at the age of 35, the family gets together to bid them a tearful goodbye. Before they move one kilometer away from their parents' house. Was one of those kids, haven't spoken to my parents in over 10 years. Have no intention on speaking to them any time in the future either. I can't imagine having to deal with that. My dad lost a place to live at his parents' house for the summer his last year of college and luckily my mom's parents let him stay in their basement. From what my parents told me my dad was devastated by this. My parents' rule was we would have a place to stay without paying rent as long as we were in school, or after we graduated while we were getting our first job. I really appreciated their support and not needing to worry about housing during the summers while I was in college. We'll be doing the same with my three kids. Great candidates for a nursing home in their later years. I was one of those kids. The rule in my house was you were out by 18 unless you were still in high school. In that case, you were out on graduation day. Edit. The demands of life calls, but I will answer each of you. My BF got kicked out at 18 and his parents literally said to his face since you were an accident and we didn't mean to have you. We need you out of the house now so we can actually relax like we used to before you were born. Anyway I think extremely badly of them. Kicking out your kid as soon as you're legally allowed to do so tells me you wanted them out of the house even earlier and the only reason you didn't do it is because you didn't want to be arrested. Dad didn't want to have kids. Once we were seven or eight years old, my mother pretended to still like us but she didn't seem to have more independent personalities. I believe that many past generations had children more out of obligation than out of a genuine desire to be parents for the rest of their lives. My older brother was a complete narcissistic asshole. He would hit me often and told me, if I told my parents, he would kill me. He was constantly causing problems with my parents. My father told him that on his 18th birthday, he could have breakfast in the house, but his lunch was going to be on the front porch in a paper bag, so pack a suitcase. My father was true to his word. One of the greatest days of my life. It's an absolutely horrible way to start a life. My dad did a bit differently. His rule was I had to be doing something. I got 90 days to figure it out. If I'm in college school, I lived with them for free. Once I started working, it was $400 a month to stay. My dad basically framed it as you can save money here as long as you want, but when you want to get your own place you're welcome to do so. You will always have a place here. Guess who's going to the shitty nursing home? I went to school with some people like that. Immediately kicked out at 18. How can they expect to continue their education when they now have to immediately start making enough for food and shelter? Inevitably, most got married and divorced or at least pregnant young too. Now 20 years later the ones I'm friends with on Facebook are continuing the vicious cycle by kicking their kids out at 18. Come on bro, give them a chance. And you complain your family doesn't have generational wealth. This is why. They should have bought a dog if they want the thing gone by 18. It depends on the kid. We kicked out our daughter because she became violent and attacked my wife. Our son is welcome to stay until he is ready to leave. They are shitty parents. My daughter is going to be 18 tomorrow. This world is difficult enough for full-grown humans why do that to a young adult? They are terrible parents who will likely end up in a state-run nursing home. If you have a child your goal is to make sure your child has every tool to succeed in life before they go out on their own regardless if that is 18, 23, 25. My plan is once my child hits 18 I will ask them to pay me a small rent amount like 20 of a normal one-bed apartment rent monthly, but I will be putting it all into a separate bank account and once they decide it's time to move out I'll give all of it back to them as a gift. They will always have a place to stay with me if things get tough as well. Asshole move IMO. 
they're fools, selfishly setting up their children for a life of unnecessary hardship and struggle. I think they're bad parents. They clearly don't understand what the world is like for recent high school grads, they're selfish and want their home back and don't want to keep feeding and housing their kid, and or they didn't raise a self-sufficient child ready to try fending for themselves. They aren't parents. They're birthers that kept a human alive at the bare minimum. It's messed up and says a lot about the parents. I'm 31 and still live at home. Not by choice, but because I struggled to find work through most of my 20s. Now that I have a job, I'm still saving up for a decent deposit for even renting. If my mum threw me out at 18, I'd have been on the streets for sure. That's really bad, as a parent you want to set up your child for success. So after school if no studying, they can stay here but have to start paying some rent which means getting a job. But more than welcome to stay as long as it takes for them to become financially independent enough to live on their own. Anyone who kicks their kid out for reasons related to age to a point, gender, or sexuality, doesn't deserve to hear from their kid ever again. With the exception of if that kid is 35 and the parent is going honey I love you but you need to find your own place to live. If the kid got kicked out because they're a criminal, are violent or abusive, or are doing hard drugs have an alcohol addiction that they don't want to correct. Well, sometimes you have to prioritize your own safety. They don't want to have relationship with their children. My parents are kicking me out at 16, if the parrot has a decent reason then goo for them, but otherwise I think it's terrible. My parents were divorced for at least a decade before I turned 18. But my dad was still trying to force my mom to kick me out at 18 with no place to live. This was interesting considering my dad's mom bought him a house to live in after he turned 18. I swear the guy wanted to make my life as miserable as he could even though his parents spoiled him. He still rubs in my face how much my grandparents gave him while refusing to give me a penny and expecting me to feel sorry for him. Have to love narcissistic alcoholics and the never-ending mindset of a selfish 16-year-old in a boomer's body. It's trashy behavior and bad parenting. Your role as a parent doesn't suddenly expire when your child turns 18. It also shows an unhealthy relationship to your child, as if they were some kind of burden that you're counting down to be rid of. Now, if a kid goes to college or something and moves out at 18. Different story. But children should always feel that they have a place in their family's home, regardless of their age or what life might throw at them. Total bullshit. Self-centered people. It a depends on the circumstances answer. If the kid is a violent psychopath, or utterly unwilling to follow the reasonable house rules, is disruptive and generally a total asshole, then that may well be reasonable. If it's your 18, there's the door that isn't. I feel this is especially cruel post-2005. Back in the 90s it was probably way easier to survive. I'm from LA and a guy I met once said that in the 70s you could actually live on your own with a job at McDonald's. It's terrible my fiancé's birthday is the 26th of December a day after Christmas. On his 18th birthday he was told by his father he was now an adult and had to go. No warning or anything. He had to move into his car that same week. And yet, 25 years later, his father has the audacity to continuously ask us for money to pay his bills. Wasn't even a discussion, somehow I turned 18 and was given a plane ticket voucher and nothing else. Not a cent, no advice on how to adult, no real direction. So I couch surfed instead until I found work. Then moved away. My 1825 was nothing but a struggle. I genuinely can't remember any point during that time where I felt like I had a handle on life whatsoever. And now I just don't talk to them anymore, it's been years. I've had family come to me with the they're your parents, they did the best they could bullshit. It just sucks, knowing that your parents don't love you. They shouldn't have kids in the first place.